hey guys i'm back again with another tutorial for you all this eyeshadow tutorial is going to be different than the previous one just because i'm not going to use any eyeshadow palette to create this look are you feeling excited i sure i am because it will be my first time to use a matte lipstick as an eyeshadow well before heading towards the tutorial people who are new to my channel hey this is tanya and i make videos on dance makeup and fitness if you have interest in any of these things then this channel is for you do not forget to hit that subscribe button and bell icon to get notifications from here on i post new videos every week With this happy note, let's start our video. I've kept my face neat and clean by using a face wash. To moisturize my face, I'm first using Lakme Peach Milk Moisturizer. I'm applying it more on side of my nose and lips bottom which are my dry areas. I'm massaging rest of the areas with thin bit of cream because those are already oily. Next is Green Leaf Pure Aloe Vera Skin Gel which I'm using to prime my face. People who are beginners and don't want to invest much on high-end primers, they can easily use it. Next is Orange Corrector from 5-in-1 FF Cream Palette. I'm using it to collect correct my dark regions on upper and lower eyelid. Just then I realized I forgot to damp my makeup sponge. Never use it without damping it. I'll quickly go wash and squeeze the extra water out of it so that our makeup blends beautifully. See the size of the sponge has grown bigger. The corrector is blending perfectly now. Next up is yellow corrector to conceal my dark circles. I'm using the same sponge to blend them. Let's set the base with Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder. I don't skip this step because I have hooded eyes and it actually helps in hiding my natural crease line and make way for a perfect base for the eyeshadow. Till the time the base is getting set, I'm using this small angular brush to define my brows. Brush the eyebrows upwards with a spoolie. Now color the brows. I use dark brown shade that looks more natural. Brush them again post applying the color. As we are done with the prerequisites, let's start with the most awaited part of this tutorial which is using these two lipsticks on my eyes. First for my base, I'm using Jaclyn USA Pink Sink. With a fluffy brush, I'm blending it all over my eyelid and a little bit above my crease line. It is blending beautifully. This is my first time using matte lipstick as eyeshadow. As you can see, it is completely dry now. I'm really happy with the result. Next, I'm using My Glam Butterlicious Possessed. It is a plum shade and I'm using it to darken my outer corner and crease line. Blend this nicely with a clean brush. I'm not facing much issues in blending them. These lipsticks are complementing each other well. Put more product as and when required. This gives a gradient effect to the whole look. You can use any pair of lipsticks, one with dark and other with light shade to create such gradient. I'm pulling the same shade from above to highlight my lower eyelids. Little bit I'm putting the plum shade on the outer side to get that gradient effect on the lower end as well. Now I'm experimenting with Manish Malhotra Copper Rose. This adds glitter to the lips but I'm just checking if it is feasible on the eyes as well. Well that's what we are here for to try and test it for you guys. I'm taking a flat brush to apply it. I'm wondering if I took a wise decision or not. My final verdict will be in the end of the video. To complete the eye look, I'll be using Lakme Absolute Eyeliner and Lakme Iconic Kajal both in the shade black. Since we are not using any eyeshadow palette, I'm using this highlighter to highlight my inner corner and brow bone. To complete the whole look, we're gonna put some foundation. I'm using My Glam 5-in-1 FF Cream Palette. This has SPF 30 as well, so you don't need any sunscreen if you're going out. This gives a medium coverage and is buildable. I'm setting the base with some loose powder, brushing it on my cheeks and forehead. 
Next, I'm using Manish Malhotra Desert Sweat, but not for my lips. I'm going to use it as blush for my cheeks and nose. I have reviewed some lipstick shades from this collection and this one happens to be my favorite. It gives a natural peachy color to the cheeks. I'm using Maybelline Last Sensational for mascara. I'm going with the same lipstick Pink Sink for my lips. Here is the final look. Now let's talk about my final verdict on the glitter lipstick. I won't recommend it to apply on the eyelids since the formula is more liquidy and doesn't dry which you really don't want on your eyelids. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it for you. I guess we learned some few tactics to utilize our makeup more efficiently. With this, I'll be happily dancing away. You guys, don't forget to pour more love by subscribing to my channel. I'll see you in my next video. Till then, keep loving yourself. Bye.